Hey everybody, I'm Allison Cope and welcome to the Chibitronics YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making a glowing heart card. We're going to start with our card base today and I've created a heart die cut along with a little girl with a heart on her shirt and a hugs die cut for our sentiment. We're going to first place a mark on our card front where our light is going to go underneath the heart on her t-shirt. We're going to glue on that sentiment real quick onto the embossed heart. There we go. Now we're going to pick up that heart and we're going to hole punch in a hole just so that the light has a less resistance going through cardstock. So we're just going to cut a hole and I don't have a very large hole punch, so we're just going to make that hole bigger. We're going to place that embossed heart on the front. We're going to trace the hole so we know where that location is. And again, we're going to go in with that hole punch. And we're going to make that hole a little bit bigger. And this will allow, again, that light to pass through the cardstock into the back of her t-shirt. There we go. We're going to fold over our circuit card and we're going to then trace the hole right through to the inside where we're going to make our circuit platform. I'm going to trace that heart just so that I know where I'm going to add my lights because I'm going to add my lights in the embossed area of the heart. So we're going to map out five little lights which eventually will become pink plus that first one, which we're going to use our craft stencil to indicate where it is. That is going to be one of our animating rainbow lights this time. So we're going to use that stencil to trace out the location of all six of our stickers here. Very quick tool, an easy tool to use. There we go. There's number six. Then we're going to map out our battery holder. These are one of our new battery holders in conjunction with We Are Makers. I'm just going to trace that base just so that I know where the location of my switch will be. I'm just going to close up that square with my craft stencil. There we go. Now let's map out the negative side of our circuit first. I'm just going to use the edge of that craft stencil. It's there and handy. We need it to go from the start of the battery up and touching all of the points of those sticker locations. So I'm just drawing straight lines over to that initial blue line. And this will complete the negative side of our circuit. Now we need to draw in the positive side of our circuit, which is indicated with the red pen. And we're going to do the same thing, except for we need to connect all of those fatter side of the triangle shapes and make sure that we collect all six stickers on those lines. So we're going to start with the top one there, and then we're going to make lines in the middle, connecting all of the base of those stickers or the positive side of the stickers. We've got that positive side all mapped out. Let's fold up our self-adhesive battery holder. Super cute. Now let's take our conductive fabric tape and we're going to start on the negative side. We're going to start on the inside of that battery holder and we're going to follow all of the blue lines that we've indicated right out to all six stickers. The conductive fabric tape is very easily cut. And there we go. And you can just use your fingers to press and make contact with our conductive fabric tape. And of course you can cut it too and overlap it to make the kind of F shape that we're going to make to collect all six of those stickers. A quick press and that conductive fabric tape is stuck down nice and easily. Trim. And there we go. There's the negative side of our circuit. Now the positive side of our circuit, we need to start on the inside of our battery holder. This allows that side of the circuit to make contact with the battery once the battery is inside that holder. So again, we're going to follow all the red lines this time to complete the positive side of our circuit. 
So I'm going to take it all the way up to the top because it's the longest part of my positive circuit line. So I just chose to go up to the top first and trim off that backing paper so it's not in my way. The conductive fabric tape can be folded back on itself to do 90 degree joints. Very, very easy. And again, a snip, snip and a press. And there's one part of our positive and we got two more little kind of lines to complete here. So again, quick cut and a quick press and our final line is going to go in. I'm just using my nail just to kind of make those bends a lot easier. <laughs> Sometimes it just doesn't want to stay and that's okay. A little persuasion never hurt. We're going to do another little bend and our final line of our positive side is down. There we go. All right, it's sticker time. We're going to start with our first five pink LED stickers. These stickers are indicated with a P for pink. And all you have to do is peel and stick. Just make sure that the positive side is on the positive lines and the negative points are on the negative side. And all of the stickers are clearly labeled positive and negative. So you don't even have to look at your instructions or anything like that. They're clearly labeled and there goes number five of our pink LED stickers. And we're going to use our animating rainbow stickers this time. They're a cute little floral shape. And again, the positive and negative sides are clearly labeled. You just have to match up negative to negative, positive to positive. And there we go. And look at that animating rainbow light. It's already changing and going through its cycle of colors. We're going to take our adhesive holder and add it to the inside of our battery holder. We're going to pop in that battery and make sure that we're good to go. We're good to go. I'm going to peel off the liner and that closes that battery holder or our switch. And let's finish off with some foam tape. And this just allows that battery holder to not be so bulky. It just makes up for the width of the battery. So we're just going to use our foam tape and go all the way around the borders of the circuit aspect of our card. Quick snip and one more side. And there we go. And now you can peel off all of those liners and to close your card. Now I like to my open mine. So I leave my sticker backing on. Now my hole wasn't quite in the right spot so we cut it a little bigger. Let's adhere that embossed heart element to the front of our card. A little extra glue won't hurt because it's so textured. We're just going to line up those holes. Hole on the front through to the back and again you're not going to see that hole. The little girl is going to have her image placed right over top. All right. And once gluing on the little girl, here it is all lit up. So you have five pink lights and our animating rainbow sticker today. Thanks for joining me. I hope you hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.